Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Simon the Cat Show. I'm JJ Yosh, and this is Simon, also known as Backpacking Kitty. And we are going to be talking to you guys all about how to feed your cat properly. So if you guys haven't subscribed before, go ahead and subscribe right now below. And make sure to comment, share, and like this video. All right, let's get to it. I'm gonna show you guys how I feed Simon and how I've been able to make him such a trainable kitty. So follow me in my kitchen. Come on. One of the most important things that I make sure I never do is leave food out for him to eat a kitty buffet. Now, here's an automatic feeder that I will sometimes use if I'm out of town and I'm leaving Simon with other people taking care of him. I try not to keep the dry food out for him at all times because Simon would probably just have himself a kitty buffet at all times. He's all right. He knows it's time to eat, so he's quite hungry. The thing about free feeding your cat is they eventually don't really depend on you for food because the food's always there. And so you lose that connection between you and your cat. But see, since I don't free feed my cat, as soon as I bring out a little treat, he's pretty trainable. Simon, you wanna do a little trick for me? Hi, babe. Sit down. Hi, babe. Good, there you go. See that? So because I don't leave the food out at all times, Simon has a really deep connection with the food and me. And pretty much any time I raise my hand like this, he wants to pet it or give me a high five. You want to do another one? What about this? Give me a kiss. That is such a good boy. You're so good. Okay. Well, there you go. There's another one. Another one. Another one. Ready? There you go. What about this one? So uh, this is an automatic feeder that I have for him and I use this only when I'm out of town and I make sure I always have a fully charged battery in here so that it doesn't go haywire when I'm not here. But I don't use this when I'm in town and I actually pretty much never feed him dry food when I'm here. So one of the key things that I do with Simon is I feed him three times a day, breakfast, lunch and dinner and I usually separate the time between five to six hours so he eats around 6 a.m. 12 p.m. and 6 p.m. and then I usually give him a treat before he goes to bed just to be a little nice you want something okay so I'm gonna show you guys some of the food that I feed Simon and again I'm not endorsing any of these food products and I would love to know what sort of food products you guys use for your cats. Okay, so I have some food products here. Um, I have some that are in this little container here, which is a 2.8 ounce container. And then I have one that's in kind of your standard sort of tuna looking cans. And this one is, uh, and this one is 5.5 ounces. So it's almost twice as big as this. So with this container here, this is about a 2.8 ounce container. And I basically break this up into two meals. So figure 1.4 ounces per meal is kind of good for Simon. So for a container like this, since this is 5.5 ounces, I would break this up into either three or four portions. Now, Simon is getting a little bit of a belly here and that's because he's been eating a lot of my food uh, when I haven't been watching. But I'm really trying to be more strict with him on the dieting because it's really not good to have overweight cats, um, it's just not healthy. So I'm gonna show you kind of just how I utilize this container here. And um, another good thing about this container versus this one is it's smaller, so if I'm in the outdoors, baby can you stay over here? It's smaller, so if when I'm in the outdoors, I can portion control him easier. And since I'm in the outdoors, I don't necessarily have a place to store the food once I open it. So having like a container that you can easily feed him is kind of better than this, because this is a lot bigger and it would take him pretty much the entire day to eat this, which means that if I'm in the outdoors, 
I have the entire day where this is going to be open and that's exposed to the elements and you know you have to worry about it spoiling. So this is definitely better for the outdoors and I may even have a perfect size to see if I do. Oh, oh, Simon. You gotta watch Simon, he'll come, he'll take this container away when you're not watching. Okay. So, here we go. Come on, come on, come over here. What I like about this one here is it smells, it smells like chicken pot pie and I would honestly maybe even eat this myself. So, I kind of am like, I want to get my cat food that I would even eat. Uh, uh, that might be weird, but that's kind of the way I look at food, uh, cat food. So I am going to use half of this. Put that in, and of course he's getting right up into it. But I don't give him the food right away. This is a very key thing. Like a lot of times I see cat owners just setting the food right away down on the ground and, and letting your cat go crazy with it. But I make Simon earn it. So I'm gonna show you what I do. So Simon has to earn this. So first of all, I'm gonna tell him to sit. Sit, sit, sit down, sit down, sit down. Put your butt down, put your butt down. Put your butt down, put your butt down, okay. High five, or shake my hand, there you go. Okay, can you see me out? Good, that is so good, you're very good. Okay, can you give me a kiss on the cheek? Give me a kiss on the cheek. Okay, that's a kind of a kiss. What about a kiss on the mouth? Come here. Okay, that counts. All right. There you go. High five one more time. Good, you're doing well. You're doing very good. Can you say meow again? Good. All right, come on down. Come on down. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, can you sit? Can you come over there? Look over there. Can you sit? Sit down, sit down, sit down. Good, good, good. What about you hug? Let's do a hug. Come on, hug me. Hug. Come on, hug. Come on, hug. Come on. Simon. Sit. Come on. Sit, 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 sit. Good. Hug. Hug. Come on. Okay, why don't you kiss? There you go. Good work. So I give him, I have him basically do a routine of different tricks and once I'm done doing tricks, I'll then set the food down. So I'm going to do one more last trick here. Oh, what you do? Come here. Come here. Wave to the camera. Wave to the camera. Okay, that's kind of a wave. 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 Okay, good. So as soon as I'm done doing all the tricks, I'm then gonna set the food down. That way he knows he's earned it. This is a key tip in training your cat. Never free feed your cat. Feed your cat in three separate meals. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I try to separate the times between five hours to six hours in between each meal. And most importantly, before you set your food down for your cat, Make sure he does a couple tricks so that he knows that he's earned it. Now, despite the food that I just gave him, if I was to eat breakfast in just a moment here, he would be all over me trying to get my food. So this cat never knows when enough is enough, which is why I do not free feed my cat. And so important, do not free feed your cat because if your cat's overweight, this is a great way to keep your cat on a diet, keep your cat slim, and having a slim cat is way healthier than having an overweight cat. So trick of the day, don't free feed your cats and make sure your cat knows that food is his reward for being a cat. Did you have a good time there? All right. You're having a great time, aren't you? All right, well guys, it has been another fun episode here. If you guys have any comments or suggestions about feeding your cat, please put them in the comments below. Any brands of food that you would suggest, let us know. 
We will definitely talk more in the future about what types of food to feed your cat, what's the proper nutrition and everything like that. So if you have any helpful tips, make sure to comment below. Share this video with your friends. Simon, I know you want more. Like it, comment on it, and as always, subscribe. And if you guys aren't following us on Instagram yet, make sure to follow us, JJ Yosh and Backpacking Kitty. And until next time, Simon, can you say goodbye? Say goodbye. Want to say goodbye? <laughs> Bye, everybody. There you go. There you go. You want a little treat here? I'll give you a little treat. One more treat. One more treat. One more treat. Come on over here. Come on over here. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs>